morning guys it's uh, 8 a.m. right now and I just woke up my from my house zoo yeah <laughs> what's up guys it's your boy Dennis here Richard we're going to Ducati not Ducati we're going for the Moto GP 2015 yeah Moto GP 2015 me my boy and over there we're gonna meet up with another few of our friends so because me and Sean we're not friends we're gonna sit separate like counters like uh, hi nice to meet you sir <laughs> you don't even have a face bro. Cover your face with sunglasses and the mask. Thinking he's all cool. Ah, hazy. Malaysia got haze. Huh? What haze? Malaysia got no haze, right? Anyway, the MotoGP is going to be at um, Sabang. And it's my first time going for MotoGP. Are you? Are you? in the tunnel there's a helicopter here see the helicopter I was supposed to come with the helicopter but then I gave it to my friend to donate for him to come because let me see he's taking the bus so I just want to accompany him so that's why ladies and gentlemen yeah. after we reach the petrol there please remain on the coach we are now walking to the paddock area this is my second time here. The first time I was here was for a performance for F1. <laughs> and now here again for MotoGP. 9.30 right now. And then we're going up to the paddock area. This is so pretty. The whole people behind here. We are now inside the Ducati. What's this place called today? I don't know. Huh? Ducati Spa. Huh? <laughs> what? Ducati Spa. Oh, Ducati Spa. And finally now we got Jeremy here. And we're doing a three-way vlog. Trilogy vlog. See how we're doing it? Then Sean is vlogging. And Jeremy is vlogging for Ernest. Ernest is in the pit now. Ernest is right now in the pit because he's going to go on a bike. It's going to be a billion to one of the MotoGP riders. So it's pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> use helmet, use glove, use boots, use suit, use fuller, use <laughs> banana. We're going to the garage tour. They gave us another deck. Like, this two is not enough. So they gave us that one. So in total, we I have three. Three. Yeah, you yeah. have three. Yeah, the most prominent thing about be, being at the garage tour is that you can smell all the fuel, you can smell all the the thing that they spray in the bikes, everything. We are here. We are here. Sean say we are here. We are here. Okay. Yeah. Just done with our garage tour. And now we are going for the pit walk. The garage show was pretty cool, we couldn't take video because of uh, TV rights but what we got to see was the real MotoGP bike and then he, they managed to tell us a lot of inside stuff a lot of inside stuff for, for people that didn't know what's happening when they used the bike it's 160 kilo it's pretty good one to yeah, they're all talking, I cannot talk this one is Yamaha Yamaha, everyone is waiting for uh, Valentino Rossi to come out, yes. All Valentino Rossi's fans. It's insane. That is probably Ernest. Ernest is one on one of those kind of bikes. Ah! How was the experience? Because we saw you. Tell me. Uh, first corner was scary. Uh. Was that because it was going so fast. This was more exciting or roller coaster more exciting? This one. Uh, the roller coaster got harness. This one you had to hold yourself. No? You let go, you bye-bye. We didn't regret, right? No, no, no. no regrets. Okay, what happened? He wanted to say that he didn't want to go for the ride. Then I told him, bro, you have to, man. It's the ride of a lifetime. Now he knows what is the ride of a lifetime. Okay, XN. 
fucking insane uh. but the part the hardest part to handle was when he breaks because you feel the G was so hard you feel the G was so hard no because you can't see in front you don't know where his breaking point is you are just along for the ride so when he breaks right you probably like and then your head goes up then he goes into the corner already so the G is so strong sometimes your head just like so you had to like just like wrestle your head down low you want to oh, I like I was like moving my knee like, I tried to touch the ground a bit like <laughs> they said don't do that but I like I want to scrape up and now oh, we are at the normal entrance area the grandstand where all the booths are at all the booths are here we are inside a what is this called? automobile automobile museum and everyone is here resting Oh, we're all pretty tired. Walking from the paddock to the grandstand to the booth area is hot like fish monger. That's that's pretty intense. The guy is sleeping <laughs> like it's his house. <laughs> now Sean is inside there at the photo booth. Yep. He's taking some photo. Let's peek. I don't know what the hell you know, it's to peep for me. It's like peeping tongs. Hey, 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 hey. Do like peeping tongs. I think you're being very inappropriate right now. Thank you. Now see this our picture. Oh, check this out. Really, Moto? Really, Lamo? Nice, huh? Now check this out. This is fresh, Mr. Ernest. You see, actually, it, it's it's real, you know, but because the, of the haze, it looks fake. He looks like he, he looks like. Hey, he, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 what, what? Okay, so we know how to ride bikes, right? And Jeremy really, really knows how to ride a bike. See, that's the back of the bike. That's the front. Photographers don't know how to ride bikes. Like. They only know how to take pictures. They only know how to take pictures. <laughs> look at that, look at that. What the heck? You better come down from the bike before somebody bash you up inside here. Oh, let's go! Okay, that's all. Nice car. Okay, this is the replay. What happened is they're taunting each other. Oh my goodness, this is the taunting each other. Valentino fans are very happy because Marque was trying to pawn Valentino Rossi and then he got smack in his face. He got caught. What else? Oh my god. <laughs> and they are back. And that's it for the race.